Salut viders, my name is Grega Horat and welcome to a new video. I just decided to record a public video because I think that uh, Euro dollar has some very nice and important structures okay, on from on the larger time frames and also the lower time frames. So for now um, let's take a look at this long term chart. Um, I think that on the weekly chart um, this sideways price action um, since 2008 lows was actually a corrective movement we know that overlapping structures um, that is trading sideways typically represents a corrective movement so um, I can count five flags here since 2008 lows so I think this was a triangle okay it was a con uh, running triangle because this uh, wave B moved into a new extreme below the start point of this wave A. So this was actually my wave A, B, C, D and E. Um, now our members uh, will know that we have turned bullish temporary on the euro dollar when market um, moved through this trend line okay connected from that swing highs so at that time we were looking for a minimum free wave rise well notice that this free wave rise uh, has been completely not completely but uh, price reversed sharply over the past few months through this trend line okay so if we have turned bullish here let me draw this trend again. If we have turned bullish here, then we should now turn bearish here because this trend line um, is broken. Okay. Now the interesting thing is that we also have already five legs in place in this wave B triangle. So actually, um, we should be prepared for another impulsive reaction which in our case because of this larger wave count should be to the downside so ideally we will see a five wave decline in this wave c on the euro dollar okay um, but as always we need to focus on the minimum expectations and because market here reversed impulsively i will be looking for minimum one more leg down which means i expect to see a break of this low here so on a daily chart i labeled this decline from these highs i labeled this it as a five wave movement so we know that in elliott wave theory five wave movements shows a change in trend or um, direction of a trend okay um, I think that this is a very important signal for a change in trend and that euro dollar will reach lower levels. In fact, I can see only free wave rally from these lows. We know that free wave patterns represents corrective price actions, okay? And notice that this um, recent sharp fall I think is impulsive structure, very sharp decline compared to previous declines. So that's um, typically represents impulsive price action in progress so i think that um, there are strong possibilities that euro dollar will continue lower from here and back towards this loss from early april okay um, of course um, i'm also bearish because um, this free wave retracement reverse from some very important fibonacci uh, resistance area this was at 138.2 percent of this wave a and then also market moved slightly above 61.8 percent and then fell sh uh, sharply lower okay so these are very important levels uh, we were looking for this reversal a uh, few weeks back already and we can see it, see it now unfolding so i think that there will be some uh, nice opportunities on the downside on the euro dollar while the market is trading below this level so this is now critical uh, region as long this level holds i would look for lower euro dollar in fact i have another chart here um, uh, here is this head and shoulders chart Okay, you can see here we had uh, left shoulder, then we had a strong push to the upside, even stronger reversal reversal to the downside, which uh, represents a head, and now this is a right shoulder. Okay, and notice that here in left shoulder we have small wave A, then wave B pullback and extended wave C. Wave C was longer 
compared to wave A. Well, notice that here we have something similar. This was wave A shorter compared to wave C. Okay, and uh, notice that this recent reversal has occurred from this upper parallel trend line. This is a parallel trend line compared to this neckline. Okay, so I think this is a neckline. Um, this left head and shoulder was very sim similar in shape compared to the left shoulder. We reversed from very uh, important levels here based on Fibonacci uh, predictions and based on uh, Elliott wave count pay, uh, Elliott wave counts. Uh, so actually, we have some very important signs which suggest that the euro dollar could continue lower. Of course, um, from a larger perspective, this head and shoulders pattern, um, if neckline will give way, will project much much lower levels okay but for now let's focus on minimum expectations and i expect to see further weakness test of this trend line and uh, that we will take this swing lows out from early april okay so for now i'm bearish on the euro and i expect more weakness as long as this market is trading below these levels okay uh, so uh, we will be tracking with our members very closely um, this year price action on the euro dollar especially of course on the lower time frames charts so if you want to be with us on the track with this market and of course with other markets like cable which is showing very similar price action um, then join us now we have a special offer available to new and returning members as well uh, you will get two months for the price of one so if you are interested please visit our website and www.ew-forecast.com and uh, check out the offer and our services there hope to see you soon have a good day bye